Hi, beautiful. Today we're talking about bangs. You guys know I love them. I love banging, you know? I love it. Like, it's just such a good time. Like, every time I get so many bangs, I'm like, wow, you look so different. But with that said, most people have no idea how to style their fringe, and it's a problem. I want to give back to the community and the world in any which way possible that I can. And today, it's teaching you how to style your bangs correctly. That way, nobody else has to see your bangs a hot mess. Bangs are annoying. Like, they're a little annoying. You pretty much have to style them every day and if you don't they look ratchet and they look awful and they look crazy So I'll be showing you three different techniques on how to style your curtain bangs super easy with different tools like a round brush a flat brush and a Flat iron so if you have any of those tools you can use them to style your curtain bangs very easily and hopefully Simplify things for you that way you never leave the house with some sad sad looking bangs. So let's do it. So the first technique is my favorite technique and the easiest one in my opinion. The only reason I think you shouldn't use this is if you don't have the tools already and you don't want to go buy them. I love to use a ceramic round brush to blow out bangs. It kind of acts like a curling iron, so you're going to get a lot of volume and a lot of nice bevel at the end so that you get that nice sweeping motion on the bangs. Also, you're going to need a blow dryer, obviously. And you're going to want to make sure your bangs are wet. If your hair is super curly, uh, super frizzy, you're going to want to blow dry your hair from really wet to dry. So keep Keep it really wet to start. And if you don't have curly or frizzy hair, you can blow dry your hair to about 80% before you begin or just let it air dry first. Um, so these are the only two tools I'm gonna use first. They are my favorite. They are the easiest ones to use. So let's use them. Okay, so now that I have my fringe all wet and separated from the rest of the hair, what I usually do is just put the hair that is not the fringe right behind the ears. That way it does not get in your way as you style. Now, Miss Manny Quinn doesn't have any ears, so I'll be clipping the hair back. And you can do that as well if you want. Okay, now with the blow dryer. I am going to put my heat setting on the second setting so it's not completely hot and not completely cold, as well as the air setting on the second setting, which is kind of medium um, airflow. That'll give us time to really create that bevel in the hair and not have it dry up too quickly. So if your hair is really, really wet and your hair is not too frizzy and too curly, um, definitely consider just drying it like 80% dry before you start. And that is just like this. So you're just gonna take the blow dryer and push it back and forth, back and forth like that until it's 80% dry. Okay, now we're taking the round brush. What you're gonna do is place it underneath the entire fringe section like so. Once you have that like that, you're gonna follow the brush with the blow dryer and give it a little spin at the bottom and bring it back up, blow dry it down and all the way to the ends and just keep going until it is dry. Now we're gonna make sure there's just a tiny bit of dampness left over because after that we'll be styling it another way off to the side. That way you don't get any sort of flyaways at the top and things sticking up at the top. And as you can see, as I blow dry, I am directing the hair down. Unless you want like serious volume, you can direct it upwards, but I don't want like a super 70s blowout moment going on. I just want a nice modern fringe. So I'm gonna blow dry downwards like this. Okay, once the hair is dry, not pulverized, we're going to let the fringe down. You're gonna get this really big bevel on the hair. Now, we're gonna part the hair where it goes, just like this, and sort of rake it to the side with your hands. And now, that's looking nice. It's just a lot. So we're gonna tame it down a bit, that way it's not in her eyes all day. So what I'm gonna do is take the brush again, take it underneath one side, and drag the hair a bit downwards and to the side. We're kind of trying to release just a tiny bit of that bevel because it's a little bit much for me. You can also go up here if you have any flyaways sticking up. Really take the brush over the hair and hold it with your thumb and just blow dry downwards on the hair. That way all those flyaways get stuck in between the rest of the hair and it does not pop back up. And I don't know if you guys also saw what I did there, which was just grab the hair with my hand and point the blow dryer into the hair. And that's another way of getting those flyaways down without holding the brush there at the same time. So it's just gonna push all those flyaways down into the hair as well as put the hair into place and make it stay there. I'm satisfied with this side of the head. I think that looks very nice. It'll look really good when the hair is down. Now let's do it on the other side. 
Beautiful. Okay, let's let the hair down and brush it out really quick and see what we got. Now, I'm not totally living yet, so I want to make sure that this doesn't go into her face like that. I'm going to manipulate the hair a little bit more. It's like making art. So I'm just going to take the hair, blow dry the hair onto the brush, and then bring it back like that. That way it gives a little more outward bevel rather than inwards towards the face. Oh yes, girl. These are cotton bangs. Really just rake it back with your hands. I love when it kind of like falls just naturally into the face. Yes, girl. Okay, so here is the side. It has that beautiful sweeping sexy moment going on. And then this side as well has that beautiful sweeping moment going on. Ooh, girl, you sexy. Okay. You can also top it off with a little bit of hairspray. I just like to put my hand underneath the hair. Just a little spritz. Keep it to the side. You know what I mean? Boom, a little spritz to keep it to the side. And then bam, it's really stuck to the side. It's not going anywhere and it's still looking fabulous. It really is simple. It does take a bit of technique, a little bit of time to develop the technique, but just use those basic things that I just taught you and it will go great. So onto the second technique I'm gonna show you today, which is with a flat brush like this. I will link something similar to this below, but it is a natural bristle brush. It is a flat brush and it's not going to give you that really intense like blown out look. You can achieve that for sure, but it's gonna take a lot more manipulation and a lot more work. But I like to use this to more do kind of a flatter, less intense bang, so it doesn't look super glamorized and perfect. It's gonna give a little bit of bevel at the end, but not as much as we just saw with the ceramic round brush. And of course, we're gonna need our blow dryer again. So let's use the flat brush and let me show you how it works. Okay, so we have our fringe damp, separated out the hair behind the ears or with clips. Now we're gonna use our flat brush and I like to do the same sort of thing we just just did with the round brush. Take it underneath the hair, blow it down flat, and do that a few times until it's nearly dry. Then we're gonna section it out again and work from there. So let's do that first, and I'll come right back and show you what else to do. So there we are, it's almost dry, not quite, and I'm going to separate the hair into two where you want your part to be. Okay, perfect. And I'm gonna take one side, push the other one out of the way. So we're gonna direct the hair like so in the shape we kind of want it. So we want that little bevel at the end, so we're gonna give it to it. So we're gonna drag the brush back like that. So we're going downwards and back away from the face and that'll give you that beautiful bevel. Let's do it. And now that we've done that, let's just take the blow dryer, put our hands through the hair and just blow it backwards. That'll help give a little bit more texture and bevel to the hair. All right, let's section it back out, release the rest of the hair. That literally took me two minutes and it looks fabulous. So there it is. That is a little bit of a different technique using a flat brush. It is so damn simple, you guys. You see that? Did you see that? Did you see how simple it was? Kind of loving the way this looks a little bit better than the round brush, actually. It's super chill, casual, but you still get that little flick at the ends, you know? But not too much volume and too much height going on. But she still looks so pretty. I love it. And of course, at the end, let's give a little spritz of hairspray, keep them in place, and it looks flawless. And that's how you use a flat brush. Now, I realize a lot of you girls watching somehow don't own blow dryers or brushes or round brushes or flat brushes. So I'm gonna help you out. I will be using for this next technique a flat iron. It doesn't need to be fancy. Anything will work, anything will do with the right technique. So now we're gonna use this flat iron to style the fringe, and I will show you exactly how to do that. This is all you really need your hands a flat iron, a comb would be good. Let's do it. Okay, let's first, of course, begin with sectioning the fringe out from the rest of the hair. And you can just put your hair behind your ears, like I keep saying. But Miss Maniquin, she's the tiniest ears I've ever seen in my life. And you know what? You can't tuck behind them. You got clips. Now, as you can see, her bangs look ratchet, and that's fine because that is how most of your bangs dry naturally, right? And this is how some of you guys walk out of your house like this. Hey, guys. 
like my bangs? I'm like, no. I'm gonna grab a comb. It's just easier for me. Um, You can use a brush, I suppose. Now it's all about the bevel, baby. The bevel is it, this technique, okay? You're gonna put this underneath and you're going to turn it and then bring it back as you turn it. Because we want to give it a little bit of height at the top and then bring the ends this way. Put it under the hair, clamp, Bring it down and back. Like, look at just how easy that was. I'm outdoing myself today. Like, that is a beautiful little curtain bang. Are you kidding? Ah. So let me show you that one more time on this side. So we're going to clamp it. And if you have a lot of fringe, please do multiple sections here. Clamp it down, turn it inwards, and bring it back. And this is in one swift movement, okay? You don't want to let the flat iron sit in one spot for a long amount of time or else it's going to make creasing. And now if you have any kind of kinkiness at the top, you're going to take that top leg and do the same exact thing. Clamp it down, turn it, and bring it back. And you can do this as many times as you need to in order to get the hair to sit correctly for you. But that is that. Grab all the hair or some of it, clamp the iron down, turn it inwards towards your face, and back into the rest of the hair. And you can even kind of manipulate the hair before it fully cools down. So I'm going to just manipulate with my hands and bring it back like that to give it a nice bevel. Take one more section at the top just to really get those roots. Clamp down and back. All very quickly. Why does this look so good? <laughs> And finish it off with a little bit of hairspray. And that is the finished result with the flat iron. Good jazz. And we can even mess them up a little bit. And she still looks completely fabulous. Oh, I like that a lot. Like, damn, girl, you look good. Hello. I'm actually into that. I like all of them for different reasons. I like that this is a little bit flatter and a little more kind of punky looking, I guess. And now I understand that I made that look really easy. And I understand that it might not be as easy for you guys out there to do that for the first time. Please practice. Let's just go over it one more time. So you're gonna clamp it down, bevel it inwards, and bring it back towards the rest of the hair. You really just wanna create that shape. So just kind of always have this C shape in mind as you drag the flat iron down the hair. Flat irons are like a way of sculpting the hair. So don't think of it too mathematically. Think about it creatively and just work with the flat iron, not against it. And just breathe. I know it can be a little bit annoying and a little bit daunting at first and a little bit tough to use a flat iron in such a way, but I promise it'll get easier as you keep practicing. Damn, she looks so good. So there you have it. My three secret techniques to styling. Beautiful curtain bangs. It's not that hard, I promise. Just keep trying at it, working at it, and building your technique, and it'll be beautiful. You won't be walking around with some ratchet bangs anymore, so you're welcome. If you guys are not already subscribed, make sure you do right down below. Hit the like button and the bell icon to be notified every time I post a new video. Make sure you guys text me at this number right here. Yes, it is a number of mine. Yes, it's really connected to my phone. And yes, I really do see some of your messages. So text me now and I'll be texting some of you guys right back. This will also keep you notified every time I post a new video. Make sure you follow me everywhere else. Here are all my social media handles all around me. Get to it, baby. Check out my Live Your Extra Life merch. It is so damn cute. It is so warm and so fuzzy and so soft and I wear it every single day. I'm also wearing it right now. Every time I film, I pretty much wear the pants. If you ever want to know what's under the table, it's my merch. You can shop the merch with the link below or go to xmonohair.com. Make sure you check out my hair care line and my hair color line. I'm wearing super red in my hair. It is quite faded at this moment, but it is still really cute. And if you would like to shop any of the colors, you can head to xmonocolor.com and xmondohair.com to shop the hair care stuff. Everything is also linked below for you. And if you want to hair inspiration, head to our Instagrams at xmondohair and xmondocolor for color and hair care. Today's Instagram shout out goes to Daphne. Um, she says, I want to change my hair. I thought about dyeing it red, but I'm not sure how to look on me. I don't want it bright, so I'm thinking of dyeing it without bleach. I have two little bleach sections on my hair on both sides. I also want curtain bangs. What do you think? Obviously, yes, 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 yes. I'm going through a huge red phase right now. I think you should definitely do it. And you don't need to bleach it. If your hair is naturally this color, besides the front pieces, you can totally use a permanent color and it will bring your hair nice and bright, but still give it that kind of brown red feel without it being super, super bright. I think red would look super great on you. And if you just color over those blonde pieces, it'll give you nice variation in color. So definitely give it a try. Do the curtain bangs for sure. And let me know how it goes. Good luck. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye guys. <laughs>